anger, a fiery surge that courses through us, scorching all in its path. It is a universal language, understood from bustling city streets to remote mountain villages. We've all felt its heat, the way it can twist our thoughts and actions. Unchecked, it can leave behind a trail of destruction, shattering relationships and inner peace. But what if we could tame this beast within, transform it into strength and wisdom? This journey begins by understanding its nature. Zen Buddhism offers a path. It teaches us to meet anger with compassion, seeing it as a teacher. Are you ready to embark on this transformative adventure? Zen, a branch of Buddhism that originated in China, emphasizes direct experience and meditation as paths to enlightenment. It's less about dogma and more about cultivating a mindful awareness of the present moment. Zen stories, often paradoxical and humorous, serve as skillful tools to jolt us out of habitual thinking and offer fresh perspectives on life's challenges. Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, recognized anger as a root cause of suffering. He taught that our reactions to the world, not the world itself, are the source of our pain. By understanding the impermanent nature of all things, including our emotions, we can loosen the grip of anger. One of Buddha's most profound teachings on anger is found in the Dhammapada. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. This simple yet powerful analogy highlights the self-destructive nature of anger. Imagine a serene lake, its surface as smooth as glass. Suddenly, an empty boat drifts by and bumps into yours. Would you be overcome with anger? Probably not. Now imagine the boat is occupied. You might feel a flicker of irritation, perhaps even yell out. The difference lies not in the event itself, but in our perception. This story, often recounted in Zen teachings, underscores the importance of detaching from our ego. When we identify too strongly with our thoughts and feelings, we become easily ruffled by life's inevitable bumps. Just like the empty boat, events themselves have no inherent power to anger us. It is our reaction that determines our experience. Buddha taught that by cultivating mindfulness, we can observe our anger without judgment. Notice the physical sensations, the racing heart, the clenched fists. Acknowledge the thoughts and stories swirling in your mind. By simply observing, without reacting, we create space between ourselves and the anger. Transforming anger into peace is an ongoing practice. Here are a few stepping stones inspired by Zen and Buddhist teachings. First, pause and breathe. When anger arises, hit the pause button. Take a few deep breaths, focusing on each inhale and exhale. This can interrupt stress and create space for awareness. Next, investigate with kindness. What thoughts, feelings, and sensations are present? Approach your experience with curiosity and compassion. Lastly, practice patience. Patience is an active cultivation of tolerance and understanding. Like a skilled gardener, we can cultivate a mind that is fertile ground for peace. By tending to the seeds of mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom, we create a space where anger finds it difficult to take root. Meditation, a cornerstone of Zen practice, is a powerful tool for cultivating inner peace. By spending time each day observing our breath and thoughts without judgment, we develop a greater sense of self-awareness and emotional regulation. Compassion, too, plays a vital role in transforming anger. When we can extend understanding and kindness not only to others, but also to ourselves, we loosen the grip of resentment and cultivate a more forgiving heart. Remember, the path to peace is not about suppressing or denying anger. It is about meeting it with wisdom and compassion, transforming it from a destructive force into a catalyst for growth and understanding. Imagine a world where calmness prevails, where conflicts are resolved with understanding and compassion. This vision may seem idealistic, but it begins with each individual's commitment to inner peace. As we learn to master our own anger, we become beacons of tranquility, radiating calmness and understanding to those around us. Our transformed energy has a ripple effect, influencing our families, communities, and ultimately the world. The journey to a more peaceful world starts within each of us. By embracing the timeless wisdom of Zen and Buddha's teachings, we can transform anger into a source of strength, compassion, and wisdom. Let us embark on this journey together, one breath, one moment. 
one act of kindness at a time.